it's story time again. So yesterday I was uh, at Walmart, and uh, by luck, the Walmart that I live by is, we could call it a shopping center, because there's a lot of stores. And uh, after I finished buying hair gel at Walmart, I went to uh, Sam's to go buy some shampoo. And I was wearing clothes that make me look like I was gang affiliated. That wasn't my past though. And some fucking cop decides to stop me and say, you look like you're up to no good. Where are you going and what are you doing? So I tell him the fucking truth. I turn to him and say, I just bought hair gel and I'm getting shampoo. Is that a fucking crime? Then he says, no, but you look like you're up to no good. How the fuck do I look like I'm up to no good? I'm just walking from one store to another. It's not even 50 feet away. So then the asshole gets all uppity and ass hurt and he says, all right, calm down, young man, calm down. I'm just asking you simple questions. Simple questions, cabron, you were racial profiling me. I did nothing wrong. I was just walking. And you say, oh, look, there's a Mexican. Let me go stop him. It gets funny, just wait. So the asshole, for some reason, decides to put me in handcuffs. I did nothing wrong. I didn't lash out at him. I called him a little bitch. But I call everyone a little bitch. And that's pretty much all I did. So he decides to handcuff me. And the weird thing is he didn't search me, which is good, because I had a fucking knife on me. I never leave home without my knife. So I start making jokes, like real fucked up jokes saying immigration jokes you see recently here in houston cleveland area there was a law passed that um cops can stop you for no fucking reason if you're hispanic scratch that if you look mexican there's no beating around the fucking bush about that law so my dumb ass says okay so it's just good it's you because i don't want the immigration here because i'm an illegal i said it with a sarcastic tone so i don't really know if he knew that i was bullshitting or if I was telling the truth. And then he starts getting pissed and he says, Do you have something that might hurt me? This is when I let it down on him. I say, Well, it depends. How wide can your ass get? And he gets all mad. He gets fucking pissed because I just kind of made a gay joke about him. I think he was gay because he got mad like that. So, anyway, he then had to let me go because he found out that I wasn't doing shit. So, he uncuffed me, and then he gave me some fucking lecture about looking gang affiliated in a place where there's no gangs. And I had to think for a second and say, Pendejo, Houston has gangs out the ass. What the fuck? I just think that Pendejo had like a quota or something of stopping people in the day or some shit. And I happened to be the last one he had to do. So he was like, fuck it. Let me stop this random Mexican so I can finish my quota for the day and go home and jack off. I was gonna tell you a story yesterday, but um, I got home, I was fucking tired, and I just crashed when I got home, so. But hey, I'm telling it now, so better than ever. It's a short video, but I just wanted to vent out my fucking anger for that pendejo, so. Until the next video, fuckers.